All right, so we have a DV9000 that was sent in to us from Texas. And as we can see on the side, we get the uh, blue light and we turn it on. Let's open it up first. We open it up and we'll turn it on. And we get that interesting sound right there. Let's try it one more time to see what happens. Um, so, that sound right there. Um, we're going to take it apart, investigate, see what happens. But uh, most likely, that's probably going to have something to do with the fan or the chipset. But we'll find out best after we uh, get it taken apart. In my mind, I'm hearing... Uh, resonation that comes through the uh, speakers and resonation that comes through the speakers most often times means that there is a uh, actual component level on the motherboard that's bad but we'll take it apart and take a look and see what we find so now we've got our um, motherboard taken out and we've checked everything we've got the cable still on here and everything and such and one thing you'll notice, and one thing that I noticed, is this. By standard and by default on any DV9000 with the discrete video, not the integrated graphics, not the Go 6150, but the discrete graphics here with the VRAM, you will have one position, two position, three position there is a Y shaped. See, so it goes from here to here to here. It makes like a Y copper heat sink that goes on top of it. It's just like this, it has a heat pipe and everything. That is missing from this system. Now, that's not default by uh, NVIDIA or, I mean, by HP. That is actually somebody has taken this system, put it together, made sure it worked just long enough to sell it, and then has left this portion off. Uh, I haven't seen any DV9000s that came from the factory without this portion on there. Um, if they have, that's news to me, uh, especially with the... Uh, HDMI ports on it like that you have to have the upper scaled uh, heat displacement for the video and everything so that's one flaw I already see with this board uh, and it's something to keep in mind when you're buying a used system that's the only reason I point it out because if you have your system worked on by somebody and they don't put this back on there or you buy it used it's almost a given that it's going to fail it will fail it's going to fail and it's just a matter of time uh, days at that is when it's going to fail so what we're going to have to do is take this all completely apart clean it up and reflow this chipset uh, this is your low level uh, chipset that's your video chipset all these VRAM chips uh, including the ones on the back here. There are V-Ramps on the back that you have to reflow also. And uh, do the uh, GPU coprocessor. That's the uh, SPP chipset right there. So we'll take this all apart and do that. And then we'll see if it works. Alright, so we have our system set up here to where we're going to... Uh, start to reflow and what we're going to do is we'll heat up this chipset here first with these VRAM and uh, then that chipset afterwards as a side note um, I can tell uh, this preheater is getting hot first of all because it has a cutaway and heat's coming up that way but also because I can actually smell the board getting hot that is one indicative way of knowing that you're actually doing 
the reflow process correct is that the uh, the uh, board's actually getting hot. You can smell it start getting hot. So what we're going to do is we'll turn this out of the way and we'll lower this down some just a little bit more. And then we'll turn it on. Now when we're doing this, uh, the actual reflowing process here, it should be um, as close as you can get it without actually touching the chip. Uh, especially with that uh, chipset. Now, I can see underneath certain parts are actually getting hot because you can tell the solder is actually getting hot um, and that's yet another thing because the part that you'll smell is the flux coming out of it um, but you won't see any if you actually see smoke or you see anything come out of it probably gonna need to do a reball that's one of those things so what we're gonna do is we'll heat this chip then we'll just move to the next chip here and then here and then here and then here uh, and then back that way and then go to this chip flip the board over and then go after that and then what we're going to do is uh, test it so we'll let this get done and then uh, we'll move on from there okay so we've taken our board and what we did was we harvested this part off of a uh, upscaled DB6000 and this is the part that you need because it's going to go right here like so and it'll screw right in but with our DB9000 we didn't have an exact fit because it had that black plastic right there so what we did was we took our Dremel and if you can tell we cut it out so now just for demonstration purposes that's what you should have had with the DB9000 when you had it uh, from the factory which is probably what happened but somebody took and left this part off causing it to overheat and that's why it failed so now we've replaced this and modified this to where it'll fit we're going to put it back together and make sure everything works and go from there Okay, so now we've uh, put the laptop back together and everything is going good. Now we're going to turn this on and in the first video the statement was made of the sound being related to a repair process and um, I think we finally figured out what that sound is. So we have the sound going and we're going to take a look hopefully we'll get video on the screen which we did and we're trying to get into the BIOS now and what's going on is that noise is linked to the hard drive that's going to be the hard drive grinding so not only did this system have a video issue and also had a hardware issue linked to the hard drive we'll see if it actually starts up in the windows and gives us anything but I'm highly doubtful of any of that because this will probably need an actual uh, hard drive replacement but in fixing the VGA that is actually done Yeah, that's actual hard drive, uh, that's a hard drive issue. Now, as a side note, uh, when looking at this machine here, we have uh, the uh, serial number right there like that. But we notice it's been cut out because uh, you can feel it right there this is an actual warranty sticker from HP 
if you ever see a sticker on a machine that looks like that, which I'll try to get a close up here uh, in a second. Hold on. Try to get a close up on that. Well, I took the hard drive out just to uh, test this and make for certain that I believe it's the hard drive. And we have it turned on and we have no noises coming out of it. Here in a second we should have a backlight. So let's see, there it is, backlight. And just as I had assumed, it says operating system not found. So we know that it was the hard drive causing it to lock up after the fact and we'll go from there in repairing it.